Hi YouTubers, we created our first Hello World type message box and now it's time to start creating a little something more useful. Today I'm going to show you how to open an Excel file, sounds rather boring, and you could do that on your own. But if you have this at the start of your script, then it could be one more step you don't need to do when automating a process. Now there's two ways we can approach this one today. The first is where you have to select the Excel file you want. And the second one is where we code the file name in so it opens up the same file every time. First, we need to declare our include file. These are pre-written files that will do a specific task. For today's example, this will enable us to open an Excel and use many of the features Excel has to offer. So, what we do is we start off with hash include then open okay so that's the Excel file that um, has extra references in it for it now next we need to declare the open box like the dialog box so we need to which I'm just going to copy and paste this part because it's a little bit long so File open dialog. Um, then this part of the text here is what you'll see on the top left hand side of the box. Um, you'll then determine default path to start looking and the file types that you want to re restrict the uh, page to. So, like if you opened up uh, into a directory and there was a hundred files in here but only five Excel files, it will only show you the five Excel files. So that makes life a little bit easier. Okay, but now we we actually need to pass that information on to a like to another handle. So we need to declare a variable on this one. So if you start typing local, like for a local variable, it'll come up in the drop down, to which you can just hit tab or enter, and it'll uh, continue p p typing it for you. So we'll call this one dollar sign var. Okay, so that's the first part. Next, we need to um, type in another command. So we need to declare another local variable. But this one we'll call okay. This one I'll call dollar sign oxl underscore one. Okay, and now we need it to open or to equal a pre-existing command called excel underscore open. Then we can put an open and close bracket there to complete that. This will allow us to connect to an existing Excel instance or it'll create a new one for us. So next we get to um, type in I'll just paste this part in. <coughs> Excel open book. So that'll actually open the book file that we've um, that we'll select from the open dialog box. So if we hit F5 now, and then there's that text that says select file to open. So then you can just pick your file, select open, and it'll open it. Okay, so that's that version. So that's the version if you want to pick which file you want to open. Now, if you're going to open the same file over and over and over again, because it's a part of the automation process that you've got, then we can just change this variable up here, get rid of all of that, and just put the direct file path with the name of the file. Okay, so if we hit F5 again, It'll open up the Excel file straight away. Then we can do it again. Yeah. Do it again. We can just do it over and over and over and over. And it'll just continue opening up that same file. Okay, so there you have it. Um, from that, I mean, we'll, we will expand on. But uh, for, that's that's today's lesson. And 
we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.